Hey guys, uh, it's Austin here. Uh, I just want to apologize. For some reason, my part one of the female uh, videos would just not upload. Um, I'm having the hardest time with it. Um, oh, anyway, so I'm going to restart this video, redo it, guys, for you. So we are in Pennsylvania checking out an antique female. It's super old. This place is over 100 years old, and so is the equipment in it. So I hope you guys really love this video and like it. And I want you guys to like this. If you guys like the video, please like and subscribe, guys. Uh, I want to do so much more videos here at the female and so many more other car videos and ex exploring abandoned places videos. Like, I love this stuff, guys. So I want you guys to show you guys this place, and I hope you guys enjoy it. Like I said, the place is over 100 years old. So what happened was, in the 1800s, this place was built, and it ran great for many, many years. It was very successful. Um, and the female was so big. It was a flour mill and a female at the same time. Eventually, the flour mill part was you know, erased and gone because it, nobody was interested in it anymore. But what happened was, in 1800, a couple years after it opened up, it caught fire, and half of the building burnt down. They managed to save and rebuild the other half of the building, which is really awesome. But unfortunately, this place even, but like I said, unfortunately, they weren't able to save that other half, so they had to demolish it and, you know, rebuild it. Um, and this place even used to have an old um, water wheel on the side of it with the lake. And uh, that part got abandoned, it got destroyed, and they detached it and got rid of it and never rebuilt it, guys. So I want to show you guys the outside of it and start with showing you guys half of it, uh, the first half of this video, since the second part uploaded first, and I couldn't get the first video part of it to upload. So here's the outside, guys. So I'm coming to do the soy mill. Pretty cool. So here's the outside, guys. There's a little shed there. This, this place used to be so cool, guys. It still is really awesome. It's really cool to see it. Here's the building. It's totally, you know, still original. Looks pretty awesome. Here's the uh, um, bins on the outside holes. Uh, wheat and uh, we used to hold wheat. The big one used to hold wheat. We don't use it anymore. The small one does the soy mill, which is pretty awesome. And here's the shoot guys where the corn and the oats will unload off of tractor trailers, pour into here, and it will shoot up these into those bins in the second video that's uploaded. And it'll uh, you know, shoot up into there for storage. So that's pretty cool, guys. And here's the inside, guys. Let me show you. Let me show you guys the the uh, inside of this place. Here it is, guys. All right, we'll start here. Here's steps to go upstairs. It's pretty awesome. Here's a chute, guys. This here. So if you have pre-bagged feed and they up and they unload it upstairs, instead of carrying bag by bag down, they will just shoot it down this slide and come into here, which is pretty cool. I love this homemade thing. Thing to open it and unload it. It's so awesome, guys. Like, look at that. Handcrafted. Here's a. Uh, a chute so when they um try to get uh, shelled corn out of here it will just come out into a bin or into bags or a weighing cart to get weighed to make to, to be made to the feed here's an old scale we actually still use this one you put your stuff on here and then this will weigh it for you you got the old those really big old weights you gotta weigh it all out here's even an old inspection sticker from 1959 and obviously the modern ones because it's still being used today. That's pretty cool. Some shelled corn. Corn on the cob. Another shoot. Another shoot for oats, whole oats. Here's a roller. This thing is so cool. I use this thing every day, guys. This rolls corns and oats and everything for the animal feed. It's pretty awesome. I like it. Here's the cart we use to put the oats and corn in and, and to feed the way everything out. Here's some deer feed, some salt, antique dolly, fish food, wood shavings, another shoot here for shelled corn. Here's a that small bin in that elevator, that small bin outside I showed you guys. This is for the soy mill. We'll shoot soy mill into bags or into the feed cart. It's pretty cool. Here's what it looks like. Cool. Well, we're just getting a load now, that stuff. Here's a grinder. A really old grinder, over, over 100 years old. This will grind the feed up. You guys, it, what you do is you slam this thing forward, 
and it will build the amps. And once it hits this middle piece here, you slam it down to the, to the normal position, it will grind up your feed for you. And this is where the feed goes in like the whole corn and oats to get ground into like mash. Pretty cool. Another, here's a, here's a cracker. This is the old cracker. It's over a hundred years old. We use this every day. And it'll take whole corn kernel pieces and crack it in half. It's pretty awesome. Here's what the crack corn looks like in the old cart. There's some bagged up crack corn right there. And this is our mixer where you mix all the feed and it will shoot from the, from the mixer into these uh, buckets which will shoot it up into the pipe into the molasses tank where we add the molasses to make the feed more sweet. And that's where we bag it out. You know, it will mix in here. We'll bag it out here. Turn that wheel and it comes out down here. We use these sacks, 100 pound or 50 pound. That's pretty cool. There it is, guys. I wanted to show you guys the feed mill since the second part decided to upload first. <laughs> Apologize about that. I hope you guys if you guys enjoyed and enjoyed this video and liked it. I hope you guys please like and subscribe and we'll show you some more of this place and uh, how we make this these feeds and hopefully I'll be able to show you some more stuff I like. We go to more abandoned places or more awesome places like that and then uh, maybe more car content eventually. So if you guys like it, please like and subscribe. Thank you for watching.